Hi everyone, my name is Augustus Clark and uh, we're here at my studio here at the 28C Street Galleries in Eureka, California. I've been drawing and painting for about, well I've been painting in acrylics for about 20 years now. And so this is my story and these are my paintings and I'd like to show you. So let's check it out. several different phases of paintings that are represented in here. I've got smaller paintings on that wall that you just saw over there. This is my wall of basically religious and iconic kind of paintings. Okay, well, uh, basically we're in my studio and we're looking at things. This one is my, this is kind of like my wall of religious and iconic kind of imagery. And uh, here, check this out. Move this out. And uh, there's some smaller works on a wall there. And, uh, the rafters are all pretty much studded with paintings and showing a lot of paintings hanging up everywhere. And uh, over here are a couple of large paintings that I'm really proud of. And all on the walls are paintings everywhere that I've done. favorite paintings around here right now. It's all about warriors, fantasy art, uh, monstrous warriors, uh, destruction and devastation. Oh, okay, what else are we doing? Oh, that's cool, man. Um, yeah. Here's a pretty nifty table of uh, paintings of birds and fish and uh, other things like that that I like to show. I think birds are really spiritual animals, really beautiful, you know, probably the most beautiful kind of animal. I think fish are very special the way they fly, the way they swim and fly. I've been drawing since I was a little boy. Uh, since I was about two, I've been drawing and like playing with paints and things since I was a little child. My grandmother taught me a lot about how to paint. My whole family's artistic. Uh, my father was an art teacher. My aunt was a really good artist, things like that. And then pretty much I just uh, drew a lot. It was basically what I've always wanted to do is what I've always done. I had other jobs, but this is the one that meant most to me. You know, I went, I, my paintings are a lot about my guru-disciple relationship to Eduardo Carrillo because I love him very much. I've been painting a long, long time. All this stuff is because of him. These paintings have taken up most of my life. I mean, I'm 37 and I've been working here since 2002, but I've been painting since 1990, born in 19... 73. So this room, and I pray to God it doesn't burn down anytime soon, this room is uh, loaded with my life's work, you know. It's basically everything I've done in a long, for a long time, everything that meant anything to me. Also, the other, another subject in my paintings is my friend Kimo, Kimo Dressendorfer, who is a, uh, an artist and a musician. I think he's like some sort of strange genius, but I haven't figured out how yet. And he's my best friend. And uh, he's become the subject in a number of paintings. There's probably a painting of him somewhere within range, here even here, but all over the all over the room. Like over there, there's this golden painting of him. You can see that a little later. There's this painting of Kimo, his portrait. And um, he, he ends up in a lot of these paintings one way or another as Christ or as like Elijah or as this other, some other thing. I've drawn him so many times that sometimes naturally the contours of his face appear in scribbles and things, which is kind of weird, you know. 